everyone, today I'm sharing how to style white jeans this summer and pull off that enviable, effortless style. Now let me start this lookbook by saying finding the perfect pair of white jeans or trousers in the first place is never easy. So much so that I'd given the trend a wide berth for about the last 10 years. So in terms of the actual white jeans or trousers that look like jeans, I've added a selection of my favorites I've found recently, both from the high street, the designers, and the independents. So you can have a look at those in the description box below at the end of this video. So in this lookbook, I'll be sharing my newfound love of white jeans and how to style them in a very elegant and effortless chic kind of fashion. If you're not already, I would be very grateful if at the end of this video, you could follow the link in the description box below to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram too. That's honestly the best way that you can help support creators that you enjoy watching on YouTube. And I, for one, am always very appreciative. Now, when we think about how to style white jeans, workwear looks might not seem immediately obvious, but I personally love that look and think they can absolutely work for smarter occasions. So to start this lookbook, I've styled mine with a silk sleeveless blouse in this lovely shimmery camel tone. I don't think you need to opt for silk, but do be mindful of the fabric content you do buy. Then I layered my camel blazer over the top and I think the contrast of those two textures and tones works beautifully together. Elevated with my mid heels, but still opting for that neutral tone and my lovely numero set structured handbag to finish. It's definitely ticking that effortless style box for me, while at the same time feeling polished enough to wear to meetings. There are a few details aimed at keeping me cool in the heat when in an office, but it doesn't mean you have to compromise on the style stakes, which hopefully this outfit shows. Since lockdown ended in the UK, there's been an awful lot of outside gatherings going on, which on the one side is absolutely lovely, you can catch up with all your friends, but on the flip side of that, I personally hate the cold, and once the sun goes down, it can be really, really freezing. Thankfully, white jeans or trousers for that matter don't have to just be kept for summer days, which hopefully I'm proving in this lookbook. They can absolutely work in winter or what feels like a winter's evening too. It just means a little more tweaking with the styling to get the balance right. So in this lookbook, you can see I decided to opt for texture to give me that upgraded polish the look needs. Adding my coffee brown jumper to keep me warmer, paired with a hopeful pair of sandals on my feet. Obviously, you could switch those out for flats or heels depending on the weather. Though I do like this coffee tone with chalk accessories, I also really like it with black. It makes the overall look feel sharper. So I added my classic numero un and belt to tie in with that shade. Either way, the look feels laid back, but sophisticated. And ultimately, still very much in keeping with my own personal style, just a bit more wrapped up for an evening sat outside. Now, just quickly before we move on, I'm just going to diversify slightly onto eyebrow gate. For those of you that don't know, I was on a bit of a mission to try and grow my eyebrow hair. So the other day on Instagram, I heard about something called brow lamination, which is essentially um, a liquid that they put on your eyebrows that makes them all stand on end. They can either add a tint as well, so they look a little bit darker, and the nature of being brushed up, I'm not describing this very well, but the nature of being brushed up makes them look a bit thicker. So I went to a local salon yesterday to have the brow lamination and the tint put onto my eyebrows. I came home and both David and Albert were in the dining room and basically they just wet themselves laughing at me. The mistake I made was having the tint as well and that kind of tipped it over the edge into looking very unnatural and ridiculous. There will be some skincare experts and, and makeup artists just going, what are you doing putting nail varnish remover on your face? But I was so desperate to get rid of the, the tint that I was happy to put anything on there. And, and to be fair, it did sting quite a bit, so I wouldn't recommend it in the slightest, but it did manage to get rid of some of the color. So I think what I'm left with now is probably a tiny bit of the tint and the brow lamination just on this section, because I think by putting any kind of liquid on here, I've kind of taken away the brow lamination as well. Anyway, that is the latest update from Eyebrowgate. Hopefully you will learn from my mistakes and I can be your guinea pig and save you from looking like I did yesterday. So don't forget to let me know in the comments section below your favorite outfit that I featured today 
it's always really lovely to hear everyone's different opinions. Let's look at the opposite now, how to style your white jeans or trousers when it's hot outside. The outfit I'm wearing today actually. So in this look you can see I've gone for a summery, ever so slightly bohemian vibe styling my white jeans with a pretty lace trim blouse that I got a few months ago from Reese. This outfit reminds me of a typical Californian style. So the outfit is really chilled, it's pretty, but those subtle details help it to feel polished when you're out and about in the heat. I tend to use my straw bag all the way through summer. I love the natural element it brings into outfit ideas and it reminds me of the beach even when I can't be there. I've opted for sandals again and a belt to tie in nicely but I think gold sandals would work equally well with this look too. How to style white jeans but for a smarter evening event? I would go for something a little bit like this. Black and white together always works really nicely and those heels visually give the look that full stop that the outfit needs. This top is actually a few years old now. David bought it from Prada as a surprise and a very much appreciated Prezi for me. No matter how hot it is, I always like to have something over my shoulders to arrive in, be it a pashmina, a coat, or as you can see now with this look, a blazer. It makes the outfit feel complete and I like to have the option of having it with me just in case I get cold. Again, like the top, this is an old one I got from Massimo Dutti, made from 100% linen and it's lasted really well. And I've also added a few recent favorites that I found across the high street in the description box as well. If you're a fan of color, but you still want to rock the white jeans style this summer, Think about adding a pop of yellow, maybe mint, or even red. Bright pink would be the obvious if you're wanting to work one of the big fashion trends into the mix. But personally, and for this lookbook, I love tones more on the pastel end of the scale. So I've opted for a lovely shade of mint. The pastel mint feels fresh, effortless, and elegant, and the very light nature of the fabric is perfect for the heat. Staying with that light and airy theme, I opted for gold sandals on my feet, and finishing with my small wrist handbag. That just brings in another sprinkle of gold, which I love. A really simple way to dress this outfit up for the evening would be to add some gold heels if you have them, or any pastel tone. I would just probably steer clear of black heels with an outfit like this, as I think it would be a little bit too harsh. When it comes to how to style white jeans, I think what I've realized is they're incredibly versatile, which hopefully I'm showing you in this lookbook. One of my favorite ways to wear them for everyday wear would be something like this. It's smart, but casual. I don't feel like I've tried too hard, which in turn gives the outfit a certain nonchalant, effortless feel to it. The organic shirt keeps me cool in the heat, but the stiffness of the cotton makes the outfit feel polished. And I'm keeping that casual, everyday vibe running through with my dark brown sandals on my feet. Of course, it's easy to dress this look up or down as it's such a classic look, but the reality of my lifestyle sees me wear it like this the most. If the weather's pretty changeable where you are, you could easily drape a tonal jumper or cardigan over your shoulders to finish this look as well. And when I'm whizzing around doing chores, I'd probably use my lovely tote handbag or heading out to meet friends, a shoulder bag or crossbody bag for something a little bit more delicate. Another way to style white jeans in summer, of course, is to go tonal. It's probably the most classic way to style white jeans, but as I often say, it's classic for a reason. You could go very minimal with a favorite simple white t-shirt. In this lookbook, I've just added a few black accessories to break it up a little with a belt, flat and very comfy sandals, and my handbag. If you suddenly needed to smarten this look, an easy trick would be to just layer a blazer over the top. I opted for my looser fitting Everlane one to tie in nicely with the whole relaxed vibe of this outfit. But of course it does have that instant polishing effect too. Effortless style is all about never looking like you've tried too hard, even if you have. And it's often these very classic pieces I reach for, particularly when I'm wanting to recreate that effortless chic look. Another classic now, but it looks so good styled with white jeans, I just couldn't leave it out. My old faithful Breton stripe top. The decidedly Parisian effortless style top that never fails to make the perfect outfit in summer 
and autumn and winter and spring for that matter. I've actually found this red and white striped version to be just as versatile as my blue and white one, particularly when blended with a touch of camel. I generally have a palette of neutrals in my capsule wardrobe, so to be able to introduce a primary colour is quite refreshing actually, and surprisingly wearable when mixed and matched with the other pieces I already have. Any striped top you may have in your own wardrobe would create the same effect. Just again, think about the fabric content of that bread and top. Just have a think if you want to go more fitted and smarter, or looser and a more relaxed vibe. All of which I believe works, so it's just down to personal taste really. Another out-out outfit idea now, but this time not having to suffer the cold. I bought this blouse last season from Cezanne and its cost per wear has got to be next to nothing now. I have worn it so much. It's not particularly on trend, though the florals and pastel tones do work nicely, but I just love that it's a pretty statement blouse and it's very me in that laid back fashion I love. Cezanne actually have the best selection of blouses throughout the year and they're often the pieces that get the most wear in my wardrobe. So I've added a few current favourites for you to look at in the description box below. So I've styled this blouse very simply with my white jeans, favourite gold heels and a sprinkle of gold with my handbag from Demelier London. I wanted to include this outfit idea because it was what I threw on at the end of filming this video to go off and do the school run. So there actually wasn't a lot of thought that went into it but I do like the simplicity of the look. So as you can see, it's a very easy, everyday, effortless style of just pairing my white jeans with a cotton knitted jumper. With hindsight, I think this look would have been better paired with my dark brown sandals, but I was opting for comfort running out the door. I like the camel and tan details with my bag and belt, and just tying in that tone very subtly with my tortoiseshell sunglasses. But obviously it's a very simple throw on kind of look, and I'm thinking it will be really easy to recreate. I really hope I've explained well how to style white jeans this summer, and it's given you lots of outfit ideas and inspiration of outfits you can recreate from your own capsule wardrobe. As I mentioned, I would love to hear from you all in the comments section below. Do let me know your favorite outfit ideas that I featured today, and if you're not already subscribed, I would be very grateful if you'd like to do so. Don't forget, you can also find my daily outfit ideas and inspiration over on Instagram. I've added a link in the description box below. And I will be back next Sunday with lots more fashion advice and outfit ideas. Have a great week, everyone, and hopefully I will see you then.